Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at cringy things people can't forget. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. At the end of a great job interview, shook the guy's wrist instead of his hand and held on like I meant to do it. Didn't get the job. How do you shake someone's wrist? Like, aren't their hands the first thing you see? Did he think that guy was going to slap him or something and then he just stopped it or something, you know? What? Why? How? How do you just shake someone's wrist? That's weird. <laughs> Went for an interview and handed the person my coat when they were trying to shake my hand. <sighs> that is terrifying, you know? <laughs> what the heck? Where do they live that they're so used to handing someone their coat? You know, no normal person would take up their coat and be like, here you go. Oh, jokes, this is my interview? Oh, jokes. <laughs> what? Is this common? I hope it's not because I've never ever handed my coat to someone before. <laughs> I don't feel important. The time my internet access was shot over a weekend, so I went to work as usual on Monday and stayed and worked all day and only found out I'd been fired the week before when I got home. Small, very high profile business. Everyone was acting weird all day. <gasps> I soft boil myself to sleep in this memory. That's so awkward. You go into work without knowing that you were fired, but everyone else knows you were fired and they're probably just thinking, wait, why did he come into work today? Like, are they really that thick skinned that they got fired, but they still come to work? You know, everyone's just looking at them weirdly and judging them. Oh man, I feel bad. So does that mean they just emailed him that he got fired? Like, they didn't even bother to call him. They just emailed him or something and being like, okay, you're fired. You don't have to come to work anymore. Bye. Really? No phone call? What? I fell asleep in my high school history class. I was all the way in the back of the room, so the teacher never noticed, until I farted in my sleep so loud that it woke me up and my head shut up and smacked against the back wall. <laughs> How do you wake yourself up? By your own fight. They must have been pooping in the dream, eh? Oh my gosh, that's so awkward. Uh, that's the worst at school because now everyone's gonna know you as the dreaming fart kid or something, you know? <laughs> Me pooping in my pants in first grade because I thought pooping in toilets other than my own is illegal. So they've never pooped like in a public toilet before before that. Oh, then again, I feel like our parents do teach us that public toilets can be nasty sometimes. Have your parents taught you that? I don't know, mine did. Like, they always tell me to put toilet paper over the seat before sitting on it because some people can be nasty. <laughs> so yeah, that was what I was taught as a kid. I don't know if everyone does it. I doubt it. And I've seen some really cool toilets where they do that but they change a new one for every new person. So like it spins around and then once that is used, that goes out and then it spins out a new one. How cool is that, right? Like everyone's sitting on a clean toilet. That's so cool. Trying to run away from home when I was six only to stop at the start of the driveway because I was always told that it was dangerous to walk in the street without an adult. My parents have this really nice photo of me with my little backpack, standing there looking really conflicted. <laughs> oh, they still follow rules. That's so funny, you know? Like, you're running away, but then you still gotta follow the rules. No, I better run away. Wait, should I run away without an adult, or should I get an adult to run away with me? What do I do? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking they were thinking. Farted in class during a test back in middle school. Everybody knew it was me, but I was too awkward to confirm or deny it, so I just acted oblivious. What do you even do, though, when you do fart in a class? Do you stand up and be like, yeah, that was me, my bad? Or do you just act like you don't know who it was, you know? Like, what? What do you even do? I don't think anyone knows what to do. I think they're just trying not to be embarrassed. Like, they're trying not to make it obvious that they're embarrassed, you know? That fat must have been pretty awful because a bunch of classmates around me covered their noses with their shirts and the teacher cracked open a window. Just the complete awkward silence that followed the fight and the feeling of everybody staring at me in disgust still makes me shudder with cringe whenever I think about it. 
<laughs> That's so awkward, man. People in the class were like, oh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> they were making it worse. I was interested in a guy, but didn't know how to start a conversation with him. We were standing next to each other while preparing food for a barbecue, and I just thought it was a good idea to start a conversation with. I like the feeling of touching raw meat. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, she went in hard, you know. <laughs> she just went straight in. Mm, all right, all right. In the first grade, I moved to a new school in a small town. Two months in, I would literally lose bowel function for no apparent reason. Totally watery and intense abdominal cramps. I was shy and didn't have any friends yet. I was embarrassed and would just sit there in my own mess until the teacher noticed. This went on every day. They pooped their pants every single day. Eventually, they sent me to the principal's office and the nurse, teacher and my parents thought I was just seeking attention. Despite packing two new pairs of undies and pants each day, I would still be soaked at the end of the day. Over the next two weeks, I kept getting in trouble. I was held in from recess and had to sit in the hallway alone when I ran out of clothes for the day. I had to eat lunch alone and spend at least half of my day sitting by myself in the hallway staring at the wall. That's so mean. When my parents finally took me to the doctor, they found a strange intestinal infection with no cure. It eventually went away. Oh, thank gosh. So for one month in a new school, I was that shy weird kid who smelled bad and couldn't participate in any activities. I graduated high school 12 years later with the same small class of students. It wasn't until my 10 year class reunion that one of my classmates, now a nurse, told me they all felt so bad for me and never brought it up because they felt like I was being abused when they saw me sitting alone in the hall in my soaked clothing. This restored my faith in how kind other kids can be. Oh, that's kind of nice. The teachers were mean, okay. The students were nice, the teachers were mean, really. It just couldn't be helped. And he kept getting in trouble for something that couldn't be helped. During a practice for a play in front of a small crowd of like maybe 35 to 50 people when I pooped my pants. Middle of the lines, I felt the wetness and had to run off stage. I kept myself locked in a room the rest of the day. <gasps> that's... That's... Uh, I honestly do feel bad for kids who poop their pants. Like, I'm sure they don't want to poop their pants. Hold on a second. I read one story where a kid would deliberately poop their pants. Unless you're that person, I feel bad for you. I was walking back to my car after a grocery trip and an older gentleman said hello to me as I walked past. My brain completely short-circuited and I responded with g g g g g g and quietly tired off averting my gaze and walking faster. Huh? Were they trying to say good day or something? Like good day, but they couldn't get the day out. When I was 16, I offered to take a girl I liked to the movies. I approached the ticket counter and asked for one movie ticket. Immediately realized I was an idiot, but was too embarrassed to rectify my mistake. She purchased her own ticket to the movie. Still haunts me almost 10 years later. <laughs> oh. oh no, that probably left like a bad impression. You know, like, can I just get one ticket? Thanks. And the girl's gonna be like, wait, what about me? Oh, I guess, oh, I guess we're paying for ourselves. Okay, cool. I mean, I feel like this isn't too bad in today's generation because everyone like pays for themselves nowadays, you know? So like, yeah, that's all cool. Severe lack of social skills and a desperate desire for attention made me lick a gym floor for a solid three feet streak to try and impress a pretty girl. I don't know what I was thinking. How is that impressing a girl? I feel like some kids do stupid things to impress someone, but like, why do they think that's impressive? Like, you licking the floor ain't that impressive. You jumping in a puddle ain't that impressive either. You know what's impressive? You being smart. <laughs> I swear, I just feel like when you're a kid, you feel like things that are impressive aren't really that impressive. Because I've been there. I've been there trying to do something to impress my crush. 
but like thinking back I just cringe because it's like it wasn't even that impressive like you know what was I even doing why did I do that <laughs> when I was 16 I got set up with a family friend's daughter we started dating in a long distance relationship after a month or so it was school holidays and I went up to visit her I didn't have a lot of money but I wanted to buy her a gift I settled on a beautiful jigsaw puzzle she wasn't too happy about the gift because she was blind Yes, I bought my blind girlfriend a jigsaw puzzle. In the moment, it seemed very appropriate because each piece was unique, right? So you can feel the pieces, right? Oh my gosh, I feel bad because I feel like he was trying to make it really thoughtful, you know? He was being thoughtful <laughs> without being thoughtful. <laughs> it just cancelled each other out, you know? He was like, yeah... This will be really meaningful because she can feel the puzzles and then it will just be good for her. I guess when you think about one thing so much, your mind just thinks about that. Like you don't think about all the other possibilities or like the cons about something. You just think about the pros. Awkward. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.